Welcome, and for me is a Samsung Galaxy M52 and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started I'm gonna begin with the screen mode which by default Samsung always pops the one that looks just more stunning visually which is also exaggerated beyond belief which is the vivid. So to get this changed you can navigate to the display then screen mode and as you can see there it is the vivid mode you can also flip through pages and for instance right here this is a great example of how beyond belief this is uh, exaggerated so just on the camera it's not as obnoxious believe it or not as it is in reality this orange is basically almost glowing it's radiating so going to natural will make it look a little bit more closer to what it normally does uh, meaning it doesn't look like it's radioactive which is personally what i prefer now obviously it will have some downsides as an example right here with the aurora borealis vivid will make this uh, look way more visually appealing than the natural color so you lose you gain some you lose some i honestly prefer the natural even though in certain cases it will look less visually appealing uh, but it is uh, closer to what it would normally look like now anyway moving on to the next option which is also under the display it's going to be motion smoothness or otherwise screen refresh rate so again it's right here and by default set to standard for some odd reason i assume it's to preserve battery life because it will consume more of it uh, but honestly with it on i feel like the benefit of it is better than not having it and having more battery the smoothness of scrolling up and down and just having content displayed at 120 hertz is better than having it at 90 so highly recommend it now moving on to the next one uh, which is also under the display and uh, it's going to be the gesture navigation now i do have it enabled right now but if you want to change it to either gestures or maybe the typical physical buttons you can find it in here under the navigation bar and as you can see we have the two options swipe gestures and the typical buttons there we go so choose whichever one you prefer more now moving on to the next option it's going to be the split screen slash pop-up window because samsung does have two different options so if we go into recent applications you want to tap on the icon of the application and this will give you a couple options now we have things also like lock this up uh, so meaning when you lock the up and you do clear all it keeps that up open but going back we have also the pop-up view and split screen split screen i'm pretty sure you already know how it works so i'm not going to go into it that in depth i'm just showing you where it is but pop-up window as you can see it opens up literally a pop-up version of whatever you had in full screen you can resize it from here move it around and additionally you can maximize it minimize it like so into an up head you can have a couple of those open and it basically acts the same exact way as for instance facebook uh, messengers uh, up head i think it's called so you can have multiple things like that open let me just quickly demonstrate this What else can I open? Contacts maybe? So there we go. As you can see, we have now three different apps open. You can tap on it and choose whichever one you want to open up in this view. Now, you can also maximize all three of them at once and kind of like you have to flip between them if you want to use them. But yeah, they're basically all usable at the same time. And to close them, obviously, you have to tap on that blue bar and simply close it and what in the absolute <laughs> nice <laughs> i have nothing better to say for this oh man okay so yeah there we go the pop-up window and moving on for the to the last option it's going to be the swipe down for notification panel which is located under the settings and just before i actually go I'll kind of show this so when you swipe down you get up tray when you swipe up you also get the same thing kind of useless so yeah going to settings you can find it under home screen and uh, where is it swipe down for notification panel so enable this and now 
voila you get notification shade every time you swipe down no matter from uh, what height so you don't have to grab it straight from the top as you would normally have to so anyway this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that i want to show you and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching